Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going? Come on. Come on. What? <laughs> oh, come on. What? This has got to be a bit. What? This is a bit, right? Because I'm wearing sunglasses. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Guys, hold on. This is the thing. I'm coming off a rosé bender. You're, so. you're coming off a of clearly maybe even a fucking cocaine bender because no. where's your head right now? No. <laughs> Positioning yourself like this. What are you wearing? Shorts. Because that makes sense in fucking 85 degree weather. You're wearing shorts and a sweatshirt, which, by the way, I was up early what the morning. hell is that stain on there? I was hoping you couldn't see that. Yeah, I couldn't see it. Okay. Well, I. Are you picking this up here? I spilled some uh, iced coffee on it this morning, but I feel like it was going away. Can I? Yes. When, when did you spill it? On the way here? No, no. I was in the parking lot. Oh, so it wasn't like you could have changed. But you have a shirt under there that I you. I do. But you, so you're doing the Keith. I'm That's what you're doing. Well, you're I mean, doing the Keith where you have a fucked up piece of clothing and you purposefully leave it to, 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 to draw some conversation in. I mean, I feel like I just like committed to the gray crew neck look. You've also clearly committed to, because I know you were in the Hamptons this weekend. You've uh, committed to full douchebaggery. Well, glasses, sunglasses inside. Well, that's not why. Sunglasses. Are, are those rape? Uh, what did you just say? Cheetah prints? I was going to say Ray-Bans. Oh, I thought you, you... It sounded like you were driving an R right there. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, chill, No, no, dude. no. That's <laughs> all. Once the cameras are off, I'll, yeah, I'll fire... Demonetize. I'll fire that, that off at you. Don't. I'm kidding. I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, I think we're ta talking about different R's, by the way. I'm talking about the one that, you know, someone forcibly does something to someone. Oh! That's what I thought you said. No. Because you said Ray Bans, but the uh, but you stopped. Oh no so no, no, like, no, oh, no, no 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 no. What are you asking me? Um, are those cheetah print? And are those Ray Bans? No, they're not Ray Bans. They're not cheetah print. They are stupid. <laughs> yeah. So what's? No, they're a print, but I don't know. Yeah, whatever the print they look is. A little cheetah though. I'm and the and lie. the backwards hat, yeah. which I'm gonna take a wild guess Go because ahead. you have three hats. Right. Uh, that's a Ray's hat. Correct. Yeah, okay. So yeah. what happened to you this weekend? Did you Nothing. get like I, I, forcibly touched by like the hand of someone named like Cheston or someone? Why would that have any... You've come back full douchebag. First of all, let's fucking take it easy. I'm shocked I'm not seeing Sperry's. Sperry's are in his immediate future, folks. Let me tell no. you. Uh, they're in your closet. <laughs> they're not in mine. They are. So you could stop. Frankie's now... But I've been wearing Sperry's You're yelling into a mirror! I bet. I spilled some coffee on me. It was cold out this morning. I was up early. It was a little windy. So I threw on this and a pair of shorts. And I plan on going to the gym when I get back. And I spilled some coffee because it got a little shaky on the road. I'm wearing sunglasses because the lights are bright. And I was drinking rosé exclusively for the last three days. <laughs> I, That's the explanation. I, I will say at least you are committing to the bit. I mean, this is, it, it's not often that someone goes like, Full douche, and you're 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 just you're la lounged up in a fucking dirty bunch, the way that you're douching it right now. So. And you think you're so cool because you're wearing a fucking Tony Gwynn jersey? Yes, I am. That's Mr. Baseball for you, bitch. Oh, Mr. Padre, actually. Mr. We get B it. He doesn't strike out. It's sick. Dude. Well, I'm pretty sure he's dead. So he did eventually strike out. Yeah. <laughs> No one runs from that pitcher. No, that that <laughs> curveball could be in the dirt you're swinging at it. Let me exactly. tell you. Exactly. Speaking uh, of curveballs, I don't know if this is no, a curveball, but good. listen, okay? There is a documentary coming out that oh, we created. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we filmed a documentary. Uh, th I'm, I'm being, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Show those beautiful green eyes. I, Somehow. My, what? Your eyes are your strongest face part. Face part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take it. I think I have nice eyes. You do have very nice eyes. Thank you. You have a great hairline. Thank you so much. I actually love your hair a lot. I think, yeah. Imagine your eyes, my your hairline. Your hair. It would be... Neither of our penises. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> no. Boy, okay. oh boy, no. Uh, but we shot a documentary... Um, this was weeks ago because um, it takes a while to edit one of those things. Not that we did it. Yeah. Uh, but... <laughs> we did not. We shot a We watched it and went, oh, um... Yeah. Very critical of yeah, the very, <laughs> We're going to fucking destroy this. Yeah. No, kidding. But we shot uh, a documentary about our entire journey up until this point. And the reason behind that is um, at the end of it, 
we are announcing our biggest show in New York City. And I know we've been teasing that for the longest time. And people are like, where the fuck are the dates for that? We're finally going to get them uh, June 26th. It's when it's a Wednesday. We're going to drop it on the Basement Yard YouTube channel at 7 a.m. Uh, like we would a normal episode. But uh, yeah, so Wednesday, June 26th is when the documentary is going to come out. I mean, there are people who are seeing this, I believe, on the 17th um, on Patreon because you get every episode a week in advance. So you guys have to wait a little longer. But once this goes out to the public in two days, June 26th, 7 a.m., we are dropping a documentary about our entire journey, you know, just talking about, you know, how we met and you know kind of behind the scenes uh, types of things and then it all leads to the announcement of our uh new york show which we're super excited for and people have been very antsy to hear i think any post yeah. that we have put up about any show new mm-hmm. past whatever it's always new york where's new, the fucking new, new york, york shows please. new york bitch please. usually Listen, is how i we wanted it. to award you for your patience and kindness that's why joey showed up looking just like he's straight out of the wolf of wall street's rejected sequel the sheep of new york but <laughs> that joke sucked and the glasses are going back on because that joke sucked Last uh, went on before the joke came out, bitch. I was anticipating no, a bad joke. Yeah, no, but look, seriously, we, we wanted to, you know, just kind of add a little more spice pizzazz. This is a big moment for us. We wanted to make it feel like a big moment for you guys as well that have helped us get here. So that, that circle is coming all the way back around, that full circle moment, and uh, you'll see you'll see part of it that when it comes out. Yeah, we're super excited. We're, we think it looks really cool. We've been spending the last month sort of editing it. Uh, not physically. No, like said, no, 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 just just pointing with words. pointing at somebody else. <laughs> yeah, right. Editing it with our our brain and letting someone else do it with all their hard work. To be fair, in house we keep it all in house. That's so right, we're, babe. We're really excited uh, for you guys to see this. And like I said, the announcement for the New York City show will be in that, um, and it will have at all the, the end, information at very at the at the yeah. But you have to watch the whole time. Right. I don't know. Yeah, you do. Yeah. (laughs) But, like, uh, all the information that you need, so, like, when the tickets will go on sale, you know, the pre-sale, general sale, all that type of shit, where to get get tickets, everything will be in there. Um, So, yeah, uh, June 26th, just look forward to that. We're... We worked really hard on it, and, uh, yeah, we're just fucking excited for that New York Yeah, it's... it's, uh it's 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 crazy yeah so we'll we'll see what happens when it comes out how it is received maybe we get oscar nominations you know that has been we have shopped this around to a couple of film festivals and we've already gotten a couple standing ovations yeah six we, seven minutes standing ovations we haven't done any of that <laughs> uh we got a call from ron howard uh who he famously directed the one of the best Christmas movies. Oh no 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 no! Take that fucking word out of there. One of the best movies of all time. Oh, the, the How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Exactly. With you Jim know, Carrey. Jim Carrey really crushed it. Jeffrey Tambor. There's some stuff there, but in that movie, he's pretty who's good. Jeffrey Tambor? He plays the mayor. Oh, okay. Yeah, not bad. Pretty good. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised <laughs> at how good that was. Yeah, but go. Uh, check out some of other some of the other Ron Howard produced stuff, and then maybe what else did he do? Uh, also, Ron Howard not involved, so <laughs> I, I don't want to get any. <laughs> well, he was he was in obviously he was in Happy Days. You know, we knew that he was the narrator on Arrested Development. Uh, he has made. Uh, I'm starting to get disinterested. What do we do? Do we move on? Yeah, we can move on. Okay, good. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, oh, uh, all this to say, you know. I thought the coffee, and I don't know if you guys can see the coffee stain because no, it's kind of light. They can, and they and if they can't, we're gonna have Josh do some of his like really good editing trickery to just enhance. Would prefer if we did and no, though. do it though, Josh. I'm gonna like this. color correct it. Do no. it. I go. You know, now people are gonna know what you're covering up, and I'll remind them through this whole episode. It's an iced coffee. All right. It's I'm not shocked that you had. Did you wait to drink it until you got here in case it made you do a little fucking you know hocking a loogie out your fucking butt? <laughs> No, you're big on like coffee makes you like crap almost immediately. If I haven't, but like usually in the morning, I I am very regular, so I'm up and it's you're like up, and up and crapping, up and crapping first <laughs> thing in the morning. So if I if that happens and then I drink coffee, nothing happens. I'm just good. Do you find that it, the crap is really dependent on the day prior, like what you ate and what you drank, or is it pretty consistently just you know a consistent crap? <laughs> What am I at the doctor? Right I don't now? know. Bill, welcome back, crap talk. I don't even know how to 
answer that question that you just asked that question you should probably pay more attention to your crap to make sure there's nothing in there you have you do have a history of undiagnosed ibs uh no you think you're a doctor i'm not a doctor i'm someone that has tummy tummy problems so then you're projecting for some reason as i've been telling you for the last I 10 am years of your life worried about you because i regularly go no but you don't and you've just, made up this thing of like you get diarrhea all the time doesn't happen. I never said you get diary all the time, but like you, when you have to go, it's like you're ready to crap right now. No, Frank, you're holding on to something I told you when I was 16 years old, and you think 16 years. Shocker! Later, That's what you do to me all the time, bitch. No, I don't. I tell someone that I, 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 I my legs are fully scars, and you're like, this is the most Frankie thing ever. I say someone that I like yeah. the dark, and you're like, this is the most Frankie thing ever. When it I was is. 13, you dumb bitch. You also consistently bring up when I brought up the fucking lyrics to Ocean Avenue because it's what I was given as information. Because that was a flat out lie. It wasn't a lie. You it's information it up, that up. I conveyed. No way. I had conveyed. You think I was making up the words to Ocean Avenue, the incredible song by Yellow Card? Yes. Damn, the glasses came off. If I could fuck you now, things would be better. That's what you tried to convince me. I was like, Frank, let's be honest. Words. Let's be honest. And and the, but again, I'm being honest. Let's be honest, be honest about. Try that out. I, I fuck you. Let's be honest about something. Does that sound like a crazy lyric to not put for into the a word? radio, no. bro? I know, but that's why it was not on the also, radio. Also, it's like a love song. You don't say if I could fuck you now, well, things I, would be better. All love songs sometimes talk with fuck. Yeah, but you don't say fuck. You say like. Hold you and Embrace, caress you. But it was like punk rock. What is caressing, by the way? How do you caress a person? Uh, with, with, like, you lightly, with, like, you stroke with the tips of your fingers. I know, but, like, you know when people do this thing, like, on a side I hate that. Like, if anyone seriously does that to me, they're, like, an 18th like, century, like, I don't like that. Like, if you did that. That's what, that's what James, like that? that's what James Bond villains do when they're, like, gonna, like, murder. There's, yeah. like, oh, Bond. This laser's gonna chop your cock off, you know? Like, that's what that is. That's not real. Yeah, I don't know that this is, like, sexy. Have you ever seriously Never caressed per- someone? N- uh, Maybe, like, a like a, like a like inner a- thigh or something. Oh, shit. Hey. How do you do that? Okay, his first two fingers are out like this. So what are you doing? <laughs> oh, where'd you go? <laughs> he went up like this. Where'd you go? No, no, no. I just went up to show you. Like, oh, so... I- what are you touching right now? Just so like I'm, inner are thigh, the inner thigh, right? But who? But where are the legs? Down. Okay, those are legs. What's that? Oh, vagina. Dine. Okay, got it. Or I guess that way. I'm not quite right. sure the hand motions for vaginas anymore. I understand the vaginas face. So legs. It. Right. Yeah. It's oh, not just oh. down. Down is weird. You need a. Throw a little like a caress is in the. It's all in the wrist. It's windy. It's like a it, windy it motion. Is. It's yes, yes, yes. Got it it yeah. goes with the with the wind. Yeah. And you need to like just barely touch, like just like a right. So it's like a tickle. Oh, something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you like being tickled sexually? Um, no. What? I don't know. What? I well, like in the middle of sex, like someone's like. No, I meant like it's sort of like a caressing. I don't know. Uh, no. I don't, yeah, me neither. I don't know. I don't know. I, why did you ask that? As if that's something I don't know. I didn't know if that is was... that what you're looking up now? Big tickle porn now? You're a no. tickle porn guy? No, but I have seen a tickle porn documentary. I have <sighs> seen that. I think I told you about that, right? Yo, I think it was like during COVID, but I like found out about it and I was like, I have to watch this. And then the, it was only available. I had to pay money for it. Paid it. <laughs> you paid money it was like to, 20 bucks. to watch a documentary about tickle porn. Uh, It was not about porn. It was about this like tickle underworld where like dudes like want to be tickled but you have to like tie them up <gasps> so they can't like defend Ew, themselves. No. What happens to a person when they if, get too tickled? Over tickled? Like, yeah, like could that be damaging somehow? I imagine it could like like Because when I get tickled, I'm like, bro, I'm going to fucking lose it. This might honestly, this might be a part of the human experience we haven't figured out yet. Because think what about happens? it like this. When you get filled with pee, you piss. When you get filled with horny, you come. What happens when you get filled with tickle? Does your heart explode? That's a possibility, absolutely. I would just start crying. I, I think. would think it's like it becomes painful, you know? Like it's, yes. It's like... Uh, it is kind of painful when you think about it. Uh, uh, yeah, like I don't like it. I don't think... They, I, 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 being tied up and tickled sounds... First of all, I'm not ticklish. Brutal. Period. Second of all... Really? Yeah, I'm not ticklish. Lucky. 
You're a ticklish boy? Definitely. Where are you most ticklish? My sides. <gasps> like right here. Really? Yeah. So like realistically, what if like me, Greg, and Ahmed were to hold you down and start tickling I, I, you? I'd be honest with you, right? Yeah. If you, First of all, gayest thing ever. Okay. <laughs> but second of all. <laughs> it's a tickle time you with could, the basement boys. I think that if I had governmental secrets, right? All the fucking Russians or Chinese would have to do. Why? You very specifically named those two countries. Aren't those like our biggest enemies? Sometimes. Uh, all they would have to do is tickle me and I'd probably give up everything. Really? Yeah. So don't give me, don't tell me anything. They put you in like the, you know, like the, the fucking the yeah. T pose and then they just tickle fucking, me. well, are they tickling you with their hands? Are they going feathers? Probably are they going feather. Yeah. Feathers. Feather. Actually feather. I don't know if I'm tickled, but like a hand, a good hand. One of these? Or like a long nail. Or like, are you like me. a ticklish because it's like just the tips are getting you? Or like if like someone were to like grab you? Both, both, both. Really? I used to have really ticklish knees, but that kind of like faded away oh, with age. Yeah. Okay. But I used to have like very ticklish knees. Like if you grab my knee, I'd be, I, it's like I was fucking getting ejected from really? a ship. Yeah. I feel like I knew someone like that once, but it was like a horny thing. Like they were just like, yo, if someone touches my knees, I'm fucking yoked. Isn't that weird? That is a weird thing to Isn't get it horny weird that by. That people get horny from different things. Yeah, you would think the human experience would it's be just like, like this is the horny parameter. Like it's not just genital touching. It's like you could like break like get someone's elbow and they're like, "Oh fuck." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but like some people have that Some You know some women Don't fucking point at me You know some women Could uh, get an orgasm Just from nipple play I've heard of that Like 2% Can you imagine Just this your way Into a fucking oh! Dude there's one There's one button For my My gazzies And that's the fucking Penis That's the penis dude. Right, It's the penis button There's nothing else Like And if there is another I don't want to figure it out Like I'm really cool With what I got Going for me right now I would if I had like cool nipples, I could see nipple play being a big thing. You're kind of a nipple guy. <laughs> you are. I don't know that I'm a nipple guy. I wouldn't say I don't want to. You know, I think the community would be like, bro, you're not a nipple guy. You know what I'm saying? I oh, think like compared the, to you, uh, like I, the nipples, the nipple people. Will yeah, come they're like, for bro, you. you're not one of us. Yeah. Like, you're you're relaxed. Stay in your lane. Yeah, bitch. yeah. You're not actually a nipple guy. Chill Is out. there like a whole fucking lane of nipple people, bro? There's a lane for everything. Doing OPL has taught me that. There's oh, yes, that's right. Go check it out. So, you know, I wish I had like a... like a, You had I, more. You had. You wish you had more. I wish I had just like a... Like a, like maybe I was like really into like hands or something. You know what I mean? There are those people that are like super freak feet fetishes. Yeah. And like, I don't like feet, so I don't want it to be that one. But if it was like hands or like something. Hand, hand, you know what I love? No. This. The, oh, the top oh, over boob? Like a bub boob? No. Dude, uh, I'm up here. Oh. I mean, unless you have gigantic tits. They're well, like some, up here. some tits are big. That, that, I know, but I'm set. <laughs> which, though, that's great, too. But, like, <laughs> this part of a woman? Yeah. yeah. It's something like French. It's not like just the collarbones. It's like the whole thing. <laughs> okay. What's it called? Like a, like a somewhat a D. A d darp. Not a guess game. <laughs> Not a guess game. But I like this part. I get cool. that. Like, like if, like if you, like a horny woman were to send you a picture, you'd want it to be like, like a towel, and then like this. No, no. I mean, I'm not thinking in the terms of pictures. I'm, pic I'm picturing like, you know, when women wear uh, halter tops. I don't know what that. Is. I don't know either. I think, I think that's, that's wrong. First, I think that's the first word I thought. But of. I don't know. But like when women wear dresses that are like. The, the straps are here. Yeah. So they're down. Yeah. So, you, so their whole uh, like shoulder. shoulders. You're a like shoulder guy. You've sh said this before. Shoulder, clavicle, bones, neck, this, and a little bit of chest. Like, oh. Yeah. I love that. For Cle some reason. Cleavage in there, too? Or, or you're not even at the cleavage yet? Uh, It doesn't have to be. I mean, okay. it's just this is a good part, I think. Okay. You know what I mean? And, like, think about this, right? Think about... Uh, 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 you're screaming, by the way. Think about, a, <laughs> think about this, okay? <laughs> think about a woman wearing like a something with straps. Yeah. The difference when between they do, this and that is like, when they oh do, my God. When they do like the Kurt Angle, take the straps down and shit like <laughs> to that. To like tan or something? Like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm like, whoa. Whoa. Oh, no, okay. yeah. That's, I hear what you're saying, yeah. Because like, even like for a second, like if you just even watch... It, oh, here, just this. When it falls like, off and they have to pick it back up, 
I lo- see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, get yeah. it. Like, I got, I'm not picking up what you're putting like, down guys. there. Yeah, okay. For some reason. And also, you could see 99% of the shoulder when it's just like a little spaghetti strap. But for some reason, when they go like this, you're like, oh, my God. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, I know what you're it's saying. Shoulder. It's a spaghetti shoulder. straps, yeah. You remember those were, uh, well, you, you know, well, middle school. Were they banned in your middle school? What? Spaghetti strap shirts? Absolutely not. I, well, I know they, they probably were, but those fucking crazy Dominicans you went to school <laughs> with were just like... <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, there was there was there was spaghetti about. I remember it was a big thing in my middle school and high school. High school. I didn't bring up high school for you because you went to a school that had yeah, uh, uniforms. uniforms. But like, it was just like the short skirts and the spaghetti straps. Like, no fucking way, <sighs> dude. You would have thought spaghetti straps. Teachers spoke about spaghetti straps as if they were fucking signs that just said like, "Come on, come get some." You know what I mean? <laughs> like it, the way it was so strange. And now, I mean, I can't speak to now, but like back in the day, spaghetti straps were like the biggest no-no yeah. for fucking middle school and high school girls to wear. I remember when I was in middle school, also the like uh, the jeans that had no pockets. I was like, "Oh my!" God. It was basically seeing a butt. Jeans that had no pockets. No back pockets. Like no po- pockets on the butt, just just jean. It was just just jean, jean the whole way. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a, a lot of the Spanish girls wore them. And I, I bet. Love that. Yeah, they got it from ABC Clothing. I know. I knew about those. <laughs> yeah, I knew exactly about. I remember those. being like, and then also you see someone wear pockets on their jeans after you've seen jeans with no it's pockets, like, and you're like, oh, fuck out of here. You're basically wearing like three pairs of pants at that. <laughs> pockets are a big thing in the lady community. Dress pockets. Bro, they got no pockets. Be- Becca like will like buy something and she'll be and like I'll be like that's beautiful. You look great in it. And then she'll go, "Here's the kicker. Pockets. pockets. It's a fucking game changer for ladies. They came First of all, ladies by the way have nature's pocket. So now they want more pockets. Right, yeah. Well, now women just want all the pockets. Yeah, they want all what the do pockets. What you want their you want to be pocket equals here? Yeah, it's crazy. Um but I will say mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't even like it's I've fun. heard I've heard women say like they complain like oh I wish this thing had pockets whatever. Maybe it's just my experience, but I don't really think women use pockets like that. I think we're they would. using pockets. I think, well, here's the thing: I think women have been fucking trained to not use pockets. That's what I'm saying. You throw it in the tits, clutch. They've got baggies, and then they've got fucking handbags. I can almost guarantee. I'm speaking on behalf of the women here, which is what we which do. Which is here what at the we do as yard. straight men. We speak That's on right, behalf baby. of women. The American way. Speak for the people that you are not. The community you're not a part of. Yeah. I think women have been told their whole lives, you're not getting pockets. Here's an entirely separate bag. Right. And you got tits. You got burginas. You don't need any more pockets. And right. then for men, they were like, you need all, something. Take all the pockets. Yeah. Cargo shorts. 15 pockets surplus of pockets uh, really too many pockets we can yeah. agree on that but like that's what I'm saying I was a little confused when women are like oh I wish this had pockets but like I don't really see them using pockets like that especially on like dresses because they got a bag to match the thing which I like it's a good look I think it's and a good also, look too like, like a clutch I kind of like a clutch that's I like, do like a clutch but like imagine you in. have to carry something in your hand everywhere you Mad go for annoying. always that I understand. sucks like for fashion I get it that but, like, sucks and like Handbags are also bad because it's basically just a lever for someone to like grab and take, you know, like put put pockets. Dude, if I have to carry around a clutch, I'd be leaving clutches all over town. Oh, and we know Joe. This is the guy that one one fucking dish in his dishwasher got moldy and he threw out everything he owned, cutlery and dish wise. What does that have to do with anything? I'm saying like you would probably just be like, I bought like a, an abundance of bags and clutches and you're just getting rid of them at every turn. Well, no, I'm not trying to get rid of them. I would just forget them because I would be like, I'm not carrying this around. I'm going to put it down. Big pocket. Where do you keep your wallet, by the way? Which pocket? You know what's crazy is I used to, when I had like a traditional foldable wallet, I used to keep it in my back right all the time. Okay. But now I have like the one that like slides up, you know? Yeah. This one here. Yeah. I got to be careful not to re- reveal any like, oh, there's a credit card. You could have just told me I know exactly what it is. You showed me like four days ago. Okay. Um, now I keep it in my front left. Same. Front left is wallet keys. Front right is phone. I was back butt for a while. 
But then now I have like a newer wallet that's like harder. Like you know, you get a wallet's got to like like break the in. like I, I don't want to give a free plug, but the Ridge wallets like that general like. Well, that is insane. I can't sit on a piece of steel forever. Right. So if I have that, I need to put it in the front pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have a newer wallet. I just got it. Like, oh, a it's the the green ago. one, right? Yeah, that one's really so, nice. So like that one, when I sit on, it's like pressing against my. Yeah, button, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. it's like bruising it. I might get one of those. Those are nice. That's a good idea. They're honestly, nice. but. I, I, I feel like I need to know where everything is because then when I do like my like I gotta check I, phone phone wallet keys I know bing bang boom exactly but like a purse bro now I gotta dig bro I gotta dig bro I gotta dig for something Becca her purse is like the fucking Marianas trench I go in there and very deep very deep dude and I'm talking her like leather purse not I want you to guess also right now inside of your wife's purse. What percent of the things inside the purse are necessary? Four. <laughs> Max. Because I'll tell you this. She has, a, she, has, she has a purse. It's really a bag. In the bag, another bag. No. In that, her wallet. Why the fuck would you do that? Dude, I love this woman, but right now I'm honestly thinking about leaving her in the fucking dust. That's kind of crazy. It's crazy, right? Yeah, like how, she's got to pay fucking, for anything. She's got a fucking, you know, Russian doll of, of to fucking find the wallet. stuff. Yeah. She's like, go in my purse, in my bag, in my wallet, then you'll find what you're looking for. And I'm like, oh, this shouldn't this shouldn't be a riddle. Also, you have to have the memory of an elephant to rem to like know that it's in there because I check all the time that I have my wallet on me. I'm Make back sure up. that I have it. I'm going to back up, and I will say, you know, it's different now because with the kids, we always need to carry, you know, in the bag, there's always, like, snacks for the kids. There's always a thing of wipes. There's always, like, diapers. You know what I mean? Like, that makes sense. So, like, that is in that 4%. Yeah. But the other yeah, 85%. There's a full bottle of... SPF 50 in here? What the <laughs> fuck do we need there's a that lot, for? There's a lot in there. There's a lot in there. It's but, crazy. But, you know, it's, beca it's because... Creams? So many creams. Hey, well, <laughs> slow, slow down, okay? What? I will say this. Big pocket targeted women, and now the, the women's pocket revolution is coming. I think they think grass is greener on the other side. They're like, I would like pockets because I would use the pockets. But once you get all those pockets, I don't know that you're going to use Then you get made them. fun of. How many times have I made fun of ants fucking cargo shorts? Bro, <laughs> I have, n have you ever in your life seen a woman with full pockets? Never. Ever. Never seen a woman with full pockets. That is true. But that is because Big Pocket has trained them I know. to have bags, Joey. I know. And what do they do? They make the bags very expensive. Also, not only that... But the bags are so filled that I don't know that you can go back to pocket after that because no, you're going to yeah. have to choose only three of the 400 items in your bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a big... Think about it like this. Down. Boys, I want to help you guys learn what it's like to be a woman. I'm going to teach you. When you go through and you clean out your backpack or when you go out and you clean out your wallet, how many times do you find something and you're like, I don't need this, but I don't want to get rid of it? For years, years... I carried around a Stone Cold Steve Austin trading card. Why? Because it set the tone that I love to party and it'll not to be fucked with, okay? But think about that on a scale of 10 in a woman's backpack. That's crazy, boys. Crazy. That is about the most ridiculous fucking comparison ever. I don't even know what's in my wallet right now. I'll be honest with I you. I have like four things in it. Oh, no. Now I've, I've, I've narrowed down. I would hope so. I've narrowed down, but I did for years. Uh, when did you get rid of this Stone Cold trading card? When did you get rid of it? A couple it? years ago. A couple years Within ago. Within my adulthood. Post-25, I would say. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. This is a crazy time. You know? But, well, you know, that's that's what life is, man. Where did you get it? Um, a, a WWE video game. It came with it. And you threw it in your wallet. Yeah. I also had When did you get that game? 2013, I think. So I kept it for years after I stopped playing the game. So hold on. No, 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 no. No, because you're not running away from this. Go to the ads. You're store. telling me. <laughs> Quick, go in to the 20, ads. 2013, how old were you then? Mm -hmm. I could be just guessing the year. 2013, you're either 20 or 21 years old. Okay. Yep. So you're 21 years old, and you get a wrestling mm -hmm. video game. It comes with a card. Yep. You've held on to that card. Had held on to it. Well, um, you had held on to it for many years but it wasn't in your wallet yet. And you waited until you were about no, 26, 27. I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty sure it immediately went into my wallet. 
Oh, so it was. It lasted a long time because you said this was. Oh, you got rid of it after that. Got yes, it. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I thought you held on to it, and then one day you looked at it. You're like, you know what? This is gonna go right into my adult wallet. <laughs> no, no, no. It it it, it stayed. It went in my wallet probably almost immediately after opening that game. Um, we're 21. We did stupid, silly things. Also, we're I want to go on stupid, record. silly guy too. So fucking careful. Okay, be I, careful. Here's some carefulness. Uh, too old to do that. No. Yeah. No, Joey. Carrying around a stone cold trading card. Yeah, it was 20. in your wallet. Yeah, absolutely. What What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. You fucking loser. So shut up. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> There's nothing for me to do. You've done it. You've done it already. You've done it for me. You've done it. I just wanted to make sure we were getting to that. Yeah, okay. As I say that with four-year-old stains on my shirt. Here we go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, a backwards baseball cap. And a, but, wait, wait to fucking go. Frank. What are you going to do? Shake me for lunch money at the fucking arcade? Loser. Because I turn my hat around? You won't wear anything except baseball jerseys. That's not true. I have other clothes, too. We don't know. We don't know. Not on this show, we don't know. Uh, I guarantee. You take a clip. Oh, yeah, and he's got shirts from Express because he works for the company, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Two people that have. You know what's funny? <laughs> Becca goes to me recently. She goes, besides baseball jerseys and um, Express shirts, <laughs> what do you wear? And I went, my heart on my sleeve. I, <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, I don't know. I guess nothing. Yeah. So, what are you going to do? Hey, man. If so, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it ain't broke. If anything, it's getting fixed more every day. Upgraded, I think Upgraded. is the right yeah, word. Right. <laughs> it's getting fixed more every day. <laughs> Pageant of the holes. Anyway, we do have some sponsors for today. The first one being Rocket Money. Rocket Money is an all-in-one personal finance app that is going to put money back in your pocket. How are they going to do that? How could they possibly do that? Uh, what they're going to do is they're going to find and cancel unwanted subscriptions that you may have signed up for back in the day or even just things that you've realized, you know what, I haven't used this in a very long time. There's no point in keeping it. So I'm going to put that money back in my pocket. Uh, when I used Rocket Money, I realized I was paying for an online magazine. I don't even remember doing this, but it was like an online magazine. Uh, and I was paying like $12 a month for that for the last two years. Great. Uh, but yeah, so they'll find things like that and also free trials that eventually turn into like, oh, it's free for seven days. That eighth day, $400. Uh, stuff like that help you cancel it. Uh, also, they will help you lower your bills if they can. They also have a budgeting tool that will help you with your spending. So, um, you know, if you feel like I need to start budgeting or I need to be a little more responsible or aware of how I'm spending my money, this is a good way to do it. Rocket Money is going to help you do all of that, okay? Uh, but yeah, so stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash basement, okay? That is rocketmoney.com slash basement, all right? And if you don't believe me, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, they have over 5 million users and have saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. There you go, folks. Okay, no one's above it. It all happens to us. Go to rocketmoney.com slash basement right now to try it out. Uh, we also have SeatGeek. NBA season, uh, you know, it's kind of over almost, but MLB is still there this entire time. The entire summer will be there. And before you know it, it'll be football season. And also the NHL is kind of coming to a close. But if you want last minute tickets to that, or if you want to, you know, go to a nice MLB game, or you want to go to a nice concert or some event, uh, you can use SeatGeek to get your tickets. Okay. It is where I buy all my tickets. I've been using it for years. Um, and uh, yeah, so it used to be that you can only get some money off if it's your first purchase, but now anybody can get some money off when you use our code. If you want to buy tickets to anything, download that SeatGeek app, the number one rated ticketing app in the App Store, uh, and you can use the code BASEMENT10 for 10% 10 off any ticket, okay? So if you're going somewhere and you want to save some money, go on SeatGeek and use their little interface, okay? Like I've been saying it every single time, but you know, stay away from the red and the dark red tickets and go for the green and the dark green tickets. Um, those are the good ones that you're getting a good price for, and you will save 10% on top of that when you use the code BASEMENT10. So go download that basement, uh, the, go download the uh, SeatGeek app and use the code BASEMENT10 for 10% off any tickets on SeatGeek. Guess what, folks? The proof is not only in the pudding, but there's also more pudding 
Joe's Pudding over on Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Do you like the creamy, rich, beautiful, sweet, sultry taste of pudding? Well, maybe that will be in podcast form by us, made by us for you on Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. You sign up for that first tier, you get these weekly episodes one whole week in advance, seven whole days right before anybody else. You see people like, where's this clip from on TikTok? And guess what? It's from us bitch on patreon and then that second tier you get exclusive episodes every single friday that's right every single friday so that means monday is the basement yard friday is the basement yard so the most you'll go without us baby is four days and during that four days we're gonna miss you so much so make sure you go check it out patreon.com slash the basement yard thank you guys for getting us to really really close to thirty-one thousand patrons if we're not already there right now so we want to keep climbing bopping reaching for the top end and then you know see what the fucking goal that we can set next is so thank you guys we appreciate it and if you want information on live shows if you want information on anything about us go to thebasementyard.com check it out i think as of recording there are still some tickets available for the late night atlantic city show which is uh july 27th at the tropicana there's two shows that night the late night show uh, still a couple tickets and from the way it has been described to me joey and greg are pretty much trying to set me up for the craziest night of my life. So go check it out. And also, if you are coming to any of the Basement Yard Experience shows, make sure you go to thebasementyard.com slash submit, okay? That's where you will find the questionnaire for anyone that comes to the shows. We like these shows to be interactive. We want you to talk to us. We want us to talk to you. We want to scream at you a little bit, maybe. Don't scream at us because we'll scream even back harder at you because we have microphones, bitch. So go to thebasementyard.com slash submit, put in what show you're coming to, and then fill out the questionnaire so it's fun. You never know. Maybe we'll talk to you, with you, about you. You never know. All right, folks, go check it out. Joey, Joey, back of you. Oh, <laughs> you sung, the, you you sung like, that. You like that, right? Yeah. Do what, you what, sing anything in your life? Huh? Do you sing anything in your life? Like music? or what? What's your go-to song in the shower right now? What are you singing right now? I don't listen to music in the shower. You do? I don't. It's like rare. I'm not saying listen. I don't listen to music in the shower. Oh. But I sing every shower. Oh, I don't do that. Recently, it was Be Prepared from The Lion King. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, What's Up by Four Non Blondes. That's a great one, too. Hamil- oh, we were, in the, <laughs> we were in an Uber, and we were singing that in some Hamilton very yeah, loudly. Was, I also think he was enjoying it. He was kind of doing this. Yeah, I think he was kind of bopping to it a little bit. He had the bop going, uh, not a long enough car ride for us to really no. sing as much as we wanted. Yeah. It was after... Uh, by the time people are seeing this, after by the way, the Brunch Boys are back. <laughs> we did big a, time. We did a big time episode uh, where we had Scorpion Bowls. It was a little crazy, uh, and then we got you know we were singing and hanging and having fun. So um, that's on Patreon. Go check that out. But yeah, we got drunk on an episode. We did can... a surprise. You know, surprise things happen. But every so often we're like, you know what? We should get drunk on this episode. I'm I'm like craving karaoke, like hard, hard craving karaoke. <laughs> are you? I feel like I'm surprised you don't have like a karaoke machine. Um, you know they made like Apple like your like Apple Music could do karaoke now. Yo, you need a microphone, bro. You don't need a microphone if it's just a party of your friends and fam. You can just be no. your own microphone. What? No? The best part is having a microphone and feeling like you're on stage, dude. I'm not just gonna sing out loud. What the oh, fuck? Yeah, who who would do that? Yeah. Stupid. What? Um, oh, slow down, all right, bitch. All right. No, you're gonna tell me you're not craving a good karaoke sesh, just like some, just like a pitcher of like stale light beer. <laughs> you're spilling it all over the place, walking across couches, and just like a small Korean, definitely Korean, definitely. Yeah. Even though the Japanese have coined karaoke as the art, the Koreans have just taken it for themselves. Right. So yeah, I could be wrong. Maybe it is the Koreans that made it up. Don't start a war. I'm not. <laughs> they got enough going on in Korea. I've also what? <laughs> I've also been watching Tokyo Vice. Unbelievable show. Tokyo Vice. Yeah, it's on Max. Whatever the fuck the shit is called now. Wait, 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 wait. It's just like a. It's like a, a. Who's the dude? I forget his name. Yeah. But he was like Baby Driver or some. Uh, Ansel Elgort. Yeah. He's, that's that's a that's not a real name, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's like what it sounds like when someone swallows something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the rejected name for all of the fucking hobbits in The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Was it? This is Frodo. This is Ansel Elgort. <laughs> you know? Uh, yo, he's like fluent in Japanese. For I, the I, think show. He, I think he is. He could speak several languages. That's crazy. 
But apparently there's some stuff out there about him, though, that's not good. We'll oh, talk about, I, I we'll don't talk know. About show's out. phenomenal, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so that's good. But, uh, you know, so I'm, like, locked into the Japanese culture, kind of. Not that that was what you were saying. I know. Have you watched... Uh, no karaoke in that Have show. you watched Shogun? No. I watched I the first great. episode. I haven't watched more. I want to watch more. Apparently it's really good. How do you watch one episode of a show and then you don't watch the show? I, it just got away from me, babe. I, I haven't been you able... You weren't captivated? I was, I was pretty... My, my vadids were capped. Uh, I just haven't gotten the chance to like sit down. Becca and I right now are watching a lot of Top Chef, so we're being Top Chefs. Mm. You know, they're in Milwaukee this season. Okay, There's some cool stuff going on. You like Top Chef? I do, but I don't like you. you I, I don't know. I, I I'm going back and forth. <laughs> and I'm going back and forth on you, but like on me. Yeah. What did I do? I know that you like you go to a lot of fine dining establishments. Uh huh. But like. I want to go out to just a diner and just get like a stupid fucking dumbass burger. You know what I'm saying? I do too. You know what? I want to go carnivals. Oh. And like get stupid shit from carnivals. Because yeah. carnivals, are, they, there's no rules. Carnivals are crazy, dude. It's like, we'll get from like top down. They're just a disaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go to a carnival in like the 80s. Like I wish we could time travel and go to a carnival back then. What a request. <laughs> I want to go to a... <laughs> you can tell me No. What, what just what? salty carnies that are just like the fucking just seriously like possible murderers that and they're just like handing you just a big Bro, corn dog. Do you remember? I don't know if you were there, but we went to the, like the fair carnival, whatever, mm -hmm. in Astoria, mm -hmm. and someone tried to stab one of the workers, and they all beat the shit out of him in the street. There is such a level, like Dude. a fraternal love of carn for carnies. They're like their own like well, fraternity. They, they they work together. Also, is that offensive? Fraternity? No. Carney? Yeah. <laughs> Who's getting offended? I don't know, but anyway, They're, they can't hear. Apparently, this guy was trying to stab somebody with a <laughs> with a screwdriver, and oh, then they shit. whooped his ass. And then I was like, "What's going on?" And I get close, and the guy's right there, and he's like basically knocked out, and he like sits up, and some dude kicked him in the face, and he was just out. And I was like, "I'm going home." And then he handed you a plastic bag of goldfish, and it was the best day of your life. Dude. Yeah, I mean, I earned the goldfish. You did the, earn uh, the gold. You earned that goldfish. What did you do? The game costs. where the fucking frog. And you hit it. You hit it with the hammer, and it fucking flips over into a bucket. No, no, no. I I did the one where it's like you throw uh, ping pong balls, and they have to land in like the thing. Oh, that's very tough. You yeah. know what game if I you throw enough, you're gonna win. If you were to take, say, like how much money have you spent at a carnival, and like break it down by games, there was one year where I legitimately, at the age of twelve, must have convinced my parents to give me. A hundred dollars over two days. For what? There was this game, and I know you're gonna remember it. And this guy was such a fucking con artist. That's the other thing about Carney. Carney does seem a little bit of a slur. So it I does. Should, it should probably it hits stop. Very hard. It does. So, <laughs> but it was it was like a spiral piece of metal, and you had this ring that was on a stick, and you had to from the bottom, as it spun go around uh, without hitting the edges or it would like buzz. Yeah. And I had convinced myself I was going to do it and win like an Xbox or something. And you didn't? Didn't. Damn. I spent hard. so much money on this fucking You thing. know what I spent a lot of money on? You remember that game you put the quarters in? It's like a shelf that keeps pushing oh coins. My God, and I'm like, yeah. I'm going to win a thousand dollars right Dude, now. Dude, there's like a TikTok like series of TikToks that are just those and it's just like live and you just watch that. And it's just like in the middle stacks of like five thousand dollar chips. See, I'm glad that I, you know, I'm not. I haven't seen that because I would just sit there for an hour watching this. Dude, those things are such scams, and I was such like I was so bought in, and like one would fall and it would move it like that. Yeah, and, and he's like, like, oh shit, it's gonna fall. Because what happens is like the thing is like I don't even know if people know what we're talking about. No, nah, they like, know, they know. There's a lot of change, and there's like a shelf that keeps pushing it. So the idea is to stack all this, all the coins. And then eventually it pushes it out and you win all that money. And it's like a lot of quarters. So you're like, yo, I'm about to cash the fuck yeah, out right yeah. now. But the quarters get to like an, a full two inches past the edge and has and I get pushed. I think, I think, I think it's because they're magnetic. I think there's a magnet there. I think that's what it is. I think I figured it out. Bastards. Yeah. I've also hit that jump shot at carnivals before, and I'm like, I'm the best basketball player of all time because though you know those are bent. The last time I did like a serious uh, like carnival game, it was the one where it's like cans, and you need to throw a ball or a bean bag 
at the cans and knock them, not just knock them down, but knock them off of the thing. And I did it on my first try. I thought I was fucking Roger Clemens. Yeah. I like wound up and threw it, hit it. And I was just like, of course. And they were like, you get a large prize. And I, I got a large prize. Nice. You know? I remember, you know the one that you squirt water into a clown's mouth? And, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And then you, When you're and fucking then, full on pissing in this clown's mouth. Yeah, and then, I got like, you. pops a balloon or whatever. <laughs> Bro, I destroyed like four children at that. Oh, I love all <laughs> bad, but I was like, what am I doing? I love the one where it's like the horsies are racing. Oh! And you have to like throw the ball in and like get it, and it'll be like one move, three move, right. five uh, moves. Also, I want to just back up for a second and just point out that you said horses instead of horses. Oh, I'm sorry. I like to be playful with the way I speak. Horses, my sp- tummy and horses. <laughs> I speak to children all day long. Yeah. Okay. Forgive me. Yeah. What, what What do you want me to say? That fucking oh that that mare up there. Oh yeah. I don't sorry, I don't fucking drown my sorrows in rosé. You fucking useless pig. Okay, you drown your sorrows in. Cheddar biscuits from Red Lobster. Oh. So it ain't that much better there, Chief. <laughs> no, it, trust me, <laughs> one of those are going to kill you a lot quicker. I'm not going to reveal which one will kill you quicker, the rosé or the cheddar bay biscuits. <laughs> Honestly, the jury is out. I don't even know <laughs> because I'm pretty – I'm. If I had to guess, it would be the biscuits. You know, it's crazy talking, transitioning. I saw a story today that there's a new TikTok trend amongst – Surprisingly, women. Normally, the people that are doing dumb things are us boys. Uh-huh. Uh, but uh, there is a new TikTok trend where they are doing uh, enemas. 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 Okay. S- seems okay, right? Yeah. Clean out your hole. Have you? I know. I remember you did an enema for Patreon, which you guys can find it. Unless I haven't Joey, done one since, but uh, unless Joey took it down out of shame, I did not. It's, up there. <laughs> it's still up there. Well, I didn't show my. Anus. Yes, you did. No, I did not. If you guys want to see Joey's full-on fucking sphincter puckering at you, go to patreon.com slash the basement yard. <laughs> I don't... False advertising. Asterisk. Huh? Yeah, there's an asterisk on that. Yeah. Um, But they're doing enemas. I, 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 did, I did one recently for the doctor. Sucks so bad, dude. The doctor sucked it? No. It's not- <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. That's a weird enema. No, 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 no. I had to do it for the doctor to, like, clean myself out. <clears throat> Lovely. Yeah. But uh, they're doing enemas reportedly for health benefits, but it is with coffee. Hmm. Coffee. Wait, is that not dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. Probably. So why do it? Uh, because we're all, as a society, getting dumber, uh-huh. despite the fact that we have the world at our fingertips. Anything for a tench. Yeah. And what they do is, as they're doing the enemas, they use the... My least favorite emoji... On the planet, the three little like shimmer light shimmers to make it look like it's like healthy. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, like the sparkles. Yeah, it looks like sparkles, and it'll be like this is for good like liver detox, and like it like <laughs> lowers your cortisol levels. Hey, you're just butt chugging coffee, dude. Yeah, that caffeine's got a fucking first class ticket to your bloodstream. And it, for where? For your bloodstream. Oh, I thought you were saying for your spludge spray. What is that? I thought that was a word for your asshole that I hadn't heard of. <laughs> Spludge spray? No. No. I can't imagine. As someone that has medically had to take enemas, mm-hmm. I can't ever imagine doing it for funsies. With coffee, no less. With coffee. Imagine the first time I have coffee, it's just sh- fucking injected into my ass. Bro, that would, the caffeine would probably get your heart going. Well, isn't that a thing? Like, because remember when we were in college, people were warning us against, like, butt chugging. Yeah, I mean, I definitely didn't need a warning. I was like, I'm all set. I'm not sticking a funnel in my ass. There was no part of you that wondered what it was like to butt chug a beer? Legitimately never. Did you ever do or know anyone that did eye shots? No. What? Oh, like, put a shot in your eye? Yeah, 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 yeah. And Is that like, even possible? My eye would fall out. A Kids that I knew in college would take shot glasses of, like, vodka, and they'd hold it, and it would seep through their tear duct. And let me tell you, bad. Not good, dude. How not blind? Um, because, um, I don't know. Eye open? Yeah. That's gotta suck, dude. Are you kidding me? Suck? Dude, that's, like, fucking legitimately dangerous, it sounds (laughs) like. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see more than I'd like to be cool. Is there any drink that you like enough that you would legitimately consider butt chugging it? 
I like tasting things with my mouth. I've never tasted anything with my hush. Oh. What? If, <laughs> let alone my favorite drinks. What if you found out tomorrow you could taste things with your asshole? It wouldn't change a thing. No. There was like a thing back then where it was like, if you dip your balls in something, you could taste it. It mm-hmm. was made up. Not that I did it, but I did see people. Did you do it? That. I swear to God, I did. But I was like, because I was like, bro, that is completely made up. This is a prank, obviously. This seems like, hey, we're not scientists, um, despite speaking with confidence about many people things. People think that we're scientists. Me. Look at me. Look at that scientist <laughs> over there. Look at that people scientist. People come here and they're like, give us the cold, hard science. And we go, you got you, it. You got it, folks. <laughs> Don't chug anything in your butt. Yeah. I would say. Unless. Get it out. Yeah, you want your butt to be exit only. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That no entrance for anything. Unless you like gay sex. Or just... A you good old analing. A good old pegging. Yeah. You don't need to be gay to enjoy pegging. That's Not what Joey all. tells me. So... <laughs> you don't need to be gay to enjoy a little analing. We let people do what they want on this show. This is a perfect segue. This is the part where we go yeah. to the ads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... We should we, we should a, say something, something before I think, yeah, something so, else. Um, you know? uh, it's not always rainbows and butterflies. It's compromise that moves us along. Yeah. All right now. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you guys want to get into therapy, which I suggest that you do, I think therapy has done wonders for me over the years. Um, that I've been in it, so I think that you know everyone should be. And if you were kind of like on the fence about it, BetterHelp is a good place to kind of make that introductory or that introduction, I should say. Um, it is more affordable than in-person therapy that can be very expensive. So I understand how that's a deterrent. Um, but yeah, you can uh, try BetterHelp and talk to some licensed therapists in just under forty-eight hours. Uh, they onboard you pretty quickly, and um, you know start talking about things that may be bothering you or you know maybe if you don't have any pressing matters in your mind that you think like oh no i'm good don't worry about it like i still think that it's very helpful because when i first started therapy i also didn't really think that there was like these big you know character flaws or issues but you get there you figure it out um but yeah you guys can go check out BetterHelp at betterhelp.com slash base me are today and you get 10 percent off your first month that is better help uh b-e-t-t each B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash base me are to get 10% off of your first month. So go enjoy that. And lastly, here we have Squarespace. Squarespace is a platform that uh, you're going to use to build out a website. Uh, a lot of people have reached out to me saying they've been using our code for Squarespace and uh, building their websites because if you have a, uh, you know, e-commerce business or you make content or you need anything, you know, a website for anything, um, which these days it feels like you need a website for everything. So, if you're looking to build a website and you don't know where to start, Squarespace is a good place to get in there. Uh, they have really good templates where they can show you how to build out a website. Or they basically build out the website for you. You just uh, change the text and the photos, um, and you make it look really professional. And, you know, your website could make or break your business or whatever the case is. It has to look, you know, really good. And back in the day, you used to have to pay, like, coders to, like, create, and you had no idea what they were doing. And it cost so much money. But now you can do it with Squarespace um, for a much more affordable price and uh, make it look great and it only takes like a day or two so it'll be very quick uh, depending on how much time you want to dedicate to building it out and also they have a lot of tools to let you know where all the traffic's coming from how to optimize that Um, so if you're going to be building a website i suggest using squarespace it is the best one Um, and you can go to squarespace.com basement to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain uh, using the code basement okay Uh, so that is squarespace.com basement uh, you will save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain when you use that code BASEMENT. So keep on making those websites and uh, let me know. All right? There you go. Enjoy. Um, and before we get out of here, Frank, no. I, I would like to talk about the French. Oh. <laughs> uh, what about well, the, the France? That's not how you say that. The, Fran- the French? Okay. The, what are you doing? French are all here. <laughs> yeah. Well, you just did Rocky Balboa, I think. That's Sylvester Stallone. What's the Stallone. difference? What's the difference between Sylvester Stallone and a Frenchman? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's who. Oh, I'm not even gonna say who that was. Who is that? Yeah. You tell me. 
I guess. Uh, but apparently, so we have the the Summer Olympics in Paris this year. You Olympic guy? I fucking love. Well, the Summer Olympics I like. The you winter like is the like, winter. Right. I was like, oh, cool ice. Well, I just like it's. It's just not as cool as the summer. I love watching track and field. And isn't uh, flag football gonna be in this one or the next one? Is it? I think so. I don't know. But <laughs> track and field, swimming, like. I love how the Olympic Committee is just adding things that we're only good at so we can get more gold medals. What are we, what? Uh, fucking, they're trying to make baseball an Olympic sport. Actually, that might oh, be we tough. We would get our ass whooped. Not I mean, our ass Slow whooped. the hell down, all right, bitch? We got okay. Aaron Judge. Okay, but the Dominican Republic. I know, the World Baseball Classic. The class, Japanese The team. World Baseball Classic, yes, yes, yes. The Japanese would fucking smoke us. They, they beat us in the last That's World Baseball saying. Classic. Also, but, DR, come on. DR, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> Jesus. But, like, flag football. I remember they announced that that was going to be uh, an Olympic sport. We spoke about it here on the show, on the baseball. Who's, the, who's, the, who's good at flag football? They'll figure it out in other countries. I mean, they probably don't play flag football, though, in other countries. I'm sure they. Fair. I'm sure there is a, a, a small... I don't know how popular American football is in fucking... American football is a worldwide phenomenon, babe. That's why we're fucking going to Brazil. That's why we're going to London. No, I think that we're doing that to try and make it that, but... I can almost guarantee they're going to be sold out games in Brazil. Isn't uh, the Packers are playing there, aren't they? Well, when a new sport comes, it's exciting in that way. Yeah, they sell out the London games all the time. I think. Well, that's just Jacksonville. That's the only way Jacksonville can sell out. Hello. I want to go to a London game. Oh, do it. I want to. I re You know what I want to go to? I want to get invited to a Wrexham FC game. I want to be cool enough with Ryan, and you know, and like, Rob, and Rob. And be like, we could sit with like in the owner's box with them. We can be like hanging out, <laughs> guys. I love if you're like, you know what I would like to do? Sit in the owner's box. Yeah, of course. Why not? No, of course. That, that would, would be, be awesome. cool, right? Yeah. We can go. We could do it. Yeah. Yeah. That would be fun as hell. It would. I mean, I would go to any football match. That's right, football. I would go to any of them. I would be very careful, though. I would make sure my allegiance is right down the middle for whatever I'm going to see. Oh, wherever I'm sitting is the color I would be wearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not Because you don't want to die, game. dude. I don't want to get, you know, I don't want anyone to throw a flare at me or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? Uh, that's mostly in, like, South American countries that that stuff happens. Well, whatever. I can talk about them. You can't. So don't you dare say anything. <laughs> But sorry, I, I cut you off. So France, Summer Olympics. Oh, yeah. So apparently uh, the French, some of the French people are protesting the Olympics um, by shitting in the river. Is there a river in France? Yeah, like it flows all the way. And where, to, like, Paris? Yeah, it flows like all the way to the Eiffel Tower or whatever. I don't know. It's like their main one. I forget the name of It'd it. It'd be like the Hudson for us, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're just so they're just, shit in it. They're just gonna do big craps. Yeah, and like that's the protest is like a, a collective a shit flash mob, dude. Just that's gonna stay. How many people they got backing on this poop? I don't know. Protest. You also gotta like everyone at the same time has to go. You know what I mean? I'm sure they can. They can all take like at the same time. They meet Laxatives. up in the park and they're like, take this lax. Oh, they gotta say it French. How would they say it? Say what? Take this laxative. We call it poop. That last part, I have no idea what you said. I didn't know what it ended. We're going to do poop. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no. Shitting into a river is a little... Is a, I mean, I'm all for protesting. That's just a interesting way to protest. Shitting. Well, that's the whole idea of a protest, Joey, is that you can't pick how it is protested. Well, yeah. Well, well, that's not the point of a protest. The point of a protest is that you shouldn't like the way that it's protesting. I don't think that's true either. Yeah, but. yeah, absolutely. Well, like it's I not a protest if it's if it's something you like are like on board with. You I think know? It's just raising awareness and making sure people are. Like, I don't. I've never been passionate about anything to crap for it. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah. I don't know. Like, if someone was like, "Yo, <laughs> we're, we're, there, there will be no more wine in this world. You have to crap your pants right now." <laughs> Y'all do it. You think that's where my like loyalty is? Is like to wine above all the things. Um. What. No more therapy in the world, or else you better crack your pants. <laughs> Joey would be so no. no, I don't know that I could even sit on a river bank and shit into the water. Like I don't think I have that in me. Could you, if I were to watch you crap, could you crap? I don't think so. Really? To like watch me take a dump? Yeah. I don't think I don't. I would have such stage fright. I don't know if my sphincter. So is let like me that. get this straight. For the basement yard experience, you can go on stage and make. Couple thousand people laugh, but the moment they ask you to take your fucking drawers off and just pop a squat, 
you won't be able to do it. That's where your stage fright comes in. Frank, how do you not understand the difference between those two things? <laughs> oh, dude, you can make people laugh, but you can't pull your asshole out and shit crap in front of them. Crap with it? No. Exactly. No, I can't. And Joey's a big crapper, too. Shout out to the French, though, man. I have a newfound respect for them, man. If you're, Apparently, if, Paris is a fucking dump, dude. Apparently, like, we have convinced ourselves it's well, like... I was being nice, and now Frankie said that. It's a rough-looking city. You're going to be... <laughs> if someone were to say, apparently, the Bronx is a dump, you're going to be offended? You're going to be like, yeah, it kind of is. I mean, I've been to the Bronx, though. You've never been to Paris. Yeah. You've heard enough about it. I mean, I've seen some videos, but also, like, I don't know how much I trust... These like travel influencers that are like, I went to the city and it's not in the fucking thing. It's like, what the fuck do you know about this city, dude? Well, Joey, all of our France news, is beautiful. Dude. All Let's of our get news, this out of the way. Even when I saw it from the air, I'm sure there's parts of Paris that are probably not great. It's a fucking tourist attraction. It's not France. It's like going to Times Square and being like, oh, it's actually New York is actually dirty. That's a bad example. New York is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> New York is very dirty. But like, you know. It's like going to like the main hubs and being like, oh, this is not what I expected at all. I usually see videos of like the rolling hills of Tuscany and you're like, bro, you're in fucking... That's Italy. But um, so I would think that just like any city, it has its good and bad parts. And like the people from there are probably like they are more defensive of the good parts and being like, oh, well, like downtown is a big shithole. <laughs> <laughs> My French is getting better. You're not speaking French. <laughs> My French is getting better. I just, I don't know if the right way to protest the Olympics is to... Take in dumps? Take dumps. Because, let's not forget... River dumps. The Olympics has been around for thousands of years. They've probably smelt quite a couple dumps in their time. Maybe. So, what is that going to do? Have you ever pooped in a in a body of water? Besides a toilet. <laughs> Obviously. No, I don't think I have. Not not to my knowledge. Have you? To my knowledge. What do you think you, you forgot? Like when I was a baby, yeah. Like a lot of times, oh. like when babies are first put in the bath, they get scared of it and they go, crap. Oh my God. Did your children shit in the bathtub? Oh, I'm trying to remember. I think I think one of them did. I can't You ever get peed on? I've gotten pee on, like not like shot at me because the diapers oh, yeah, I changed were the girls, yeah. you know? Uh, but apparently a lot of people with boys, they like, get they get fucking fat pissed on. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. I've seen it happen. You've seen someone get pissed on? Yeah. My sister. Whoa. Yeah. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Didn't think I was going to go my entire life without seeing my sister getting pissed on, but here we are. Here we are. And talking about it for a couple and thousand people to it, watch yeah. and listen to. But then it's like... Then <laughs> your sister's going to be like, hey, why are you talking about me on the podcast? <laughs> what did you say? And you're, yeah. I don't remember. I don't even remember, honestly, what I said. No, but when she changes, when she used to change uh, Michael, she would like put a, a diaper over him. Well, they sell. There's there's like a there's a product that's called like the PP. It's kind of <laughs> culture appropriation. You know you know how those Americans love. It's called like the PPTP. Oh, you got to put like a little cone over. And it's like yeah, it's like a little cone that you put over the, the little baby like stuff, so they don't piss on you. It's a penis. Yeah, but yeah, you know. I don't know. I feel weird. Calling S it a penis? Speaking about a baby penis. Well, we're talking... First of all, we're not talking about it like we're... I know. I'm just just weird. In love with it. We're I talking about <laughs> like what happened. Scientifically. Yeah. Back to us being scientists. Yeah, we're back to being science. Hello. Hello. How are you? If you were to protest the... Because apparently, I, I actually... I think there's some... I'm not crapping in the... Ground program. for this I could give you a piss on. in the river. I can't crap in the river. I'm sorry. I'll oh, piss in the river. Bro, I've peed, I've, pre I've peed in bodies of water probably more than I've peed in toilets. Are you a pool pisser? You piss in pools? Not pools. Not pools. No, thank you. Lakes? Forget about it. I honestly think I could have been a pool pisser growing up if I didn't see that... Or like hear that one rumor that when you pee in pools, it turns blue. If, if I didn't know that I probably would have done it more I will say this I'm lying a little bit I I have been a I have I have been a pool pisser and I think you have too oh Las Vegas doesn't Las count Vegas, but you know what you're right because technically that's not a pool it's a just a big toilet yeah people throw up in that yeah dude uh, and I know <laughs> one of our friends threw up in a Vegas pool he went underwater threw up and came up which I did that's one of the dumbest like things i could think of you know what's funny why go under 
You know what's crazy is we found a camera in a Vegas pool. Yeah. And I still have it. You don't throw anything out. I don't. It's unbelievable. And there, we took a couple pictures before we before it stopped working. I wonder whose camera it is. I wonder what's on there. Me too. Imagine you like go through and it's like at the end of uh, the Hangover movies. It's, it's like, like, oh shit. <laughs> they're like drunk with like a monkey or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe one day I'll be able to find like a the proper USB cable to like get the camera, the pictures off it. Well, it's been over 10 years probably. I think you gave up on that dream a long time ago. You never know, but Probably busy with other stuff. You, I, am a little, children, I am a little so. <laughs> I am a little busy, so. We, we'll never know, folks, but yeah. Anyway, I think that we could end there, Frank. What do you say? Um, no, let's, let's keep going. Okay. So, how are you? Where can they find you? <laughs> <laughs> F. Albers 85 on Twitter, the Frank Albers, all the forms, social medium. Um, guys, like I said, just to remind you, June 26th, 7 a.m., uh, dropping the documentary to talk about our entire journey. Excited for you guys to kind of see it. Um, and then also you will get the information of the New York City show in that. So you have that to look forward to. And, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for uh, sticking around. All Shout out to all the patrons as well. And that is all. See you guys next time. Keep those eyes peeled. Keep them peeled. Peeled. Like an orange. Right. Or an apple. <laughs>